hello everyone and welcome back to my channel all right so today's video reading is what's the current gossip about you who's been gossiping about you and why and do you have anything to worry about with this gossip all right so we're gonna jump straight into our reading uh this is a double reading as well so make sure you stay tuned and check out the reading that is directly after this pick a card reading uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. So you have three options to choose from. This is option number one, option number two, option number three. Again, option one, option two, option three. Pause the video, see which of these options you feel resonate with you the most, and then come back when you are absolutely ready for your answer. And while you're thinking about your answer, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, send every walk and read private wordy reading, please check that pink comment below as well as the description box below. And subscribe, like, comment, share. All right, let's get into it with our first option. Option number one. Universe, spirit guides, and ancestors of those who choose. Option number one. Oh, goodness. What is the current gossip about option number one? What is the current gossip about option number one? Give me two cards. What is the current option? You have the seven of wands in the reverse. And we have the three of wands in the upright. Option number one, people are gossiping about you letting, letting something go. Um, this is energy is about wanting to move forward and move on sometime in the near future. Give me more. It's the current gossip about option number one. What has option number one let go of? Page of Cups in the reverse. This could be letting go of a romantic interest. Maybe this person was a crush. Uh, Will of Fortune in the reverse. I feel like people may feel like you're very pessimistic. And this is what they're gossiping about. And you could be very pessimistic surrounding factors of your love life. And this is what people are gossiping about. Give me more universe for God's ancestors. People gossiping about when it comes to option number one. People gossiping about people gossip about how hard working you are. You may be somebody who focuses solely on work. Option number one, um, and you don't really take out time for other matters or other things that you are interested in. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, option number one, people may be gossiping about how you may be um, somebody who's very money focused, but almost too like a fault um it feels like you know this may be the only thing that you're talking about or only thing that you seem to be focused on we have the justice card in the reverse people gossip about you maybe being imbalanced option number one or maybe you've spoken to others about feelings of being imbalanced and people definitely are co-signing with this I'll give you more information universe for guys and ancestors What's the current gossip about option number one? What's the current gossip? We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this is definitely surrounding finances. Um, you're a very giving person, but people feel like you are a bit imbalanced, unsettled. They feel like definitely like you have taken away focus in love and you're putting it towards work. People feel like you're trying to numb something. Option number one, that's the current gossip. That's the current gossip about option number one, universe. Two of cups in a reverse, yeah. Relationship gone sour. But for many of you, option number one, I feel like there hasn't been a relationship. So while people gossip about how hardworking you are, they also gossip about how single you appear. Look, star card, how single you appear. So you're definitely admired by many but I don't see you interacting romantically with others. And then we have the Eight of Wands. People may gossip about you traveling a lot. Option number one, you may have recently posted um, on social social media somewhere about traveling. Um, we got the Chariot in the upright. You're somebody who's very family oriented. Option number one. Yet yeah, very private with the Moon card in the upright. 
and definitely people are gossiping. People are wondering what's going on within your life because you are private. Option number one, let's see. Universe for your guys and the ancestors in the direction. Messages. Hair finding the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, people definitely gossip about your state. The state of your your your, your romantic life. People gossip about you being single a lot. Um, they feel like you have no plans of of definitely finding a partner. People find you to be someone who's very honest um, with the five of swords in reverse. Uh, they don't feel like you're very conniving. Um, two of swords in reverse, people find you very, very decisive. And knight of swords. Uh, you could be in sales, option number one, because people feel like, like you talk very fast, like you're able to sell or like you're constantly selling them something. Option number one, that's what I'm getting with that one. So let us find out more. Who's gossiping about you and why? Universe spirit guys and ancestors. You all, I want to grab some karma cards for this. And I'm only going to use it for the signs. I'm only going to use it for the signs. In regards to who's gossiping about you and why. Who's gossiping about you and why. Okay. All right. Let us find out who's gossiping about option number one and why. We have Gemini energy that came out. This guy's talking about option number one and why. You could have a Gemini um, gossiping about you. Somebody could have a very prominent Leo placement. This also could be somebody who you work with with that Leo energy. Um, we have Aquarius, so a lot of air sign energy, or you could be an air sign. We have an Aries. So definitely the Aries is someone who misses you. That's what I'm getting in that energy when that fell out. So you could have a Gemini or an Aquarius, or this could be an air sign in general that's talking about you since we have predominant air energy. And then we have this Aries who may be missing you. Um, or this could be somebody that's younger than you that's gossiping about you. Give me more information. Who's gossiping about option number one? We have the four of wands in the upright. This could be for some of you all that's watching this and you are committed to someone. This could be your partner that's gossiping about you, but more so they're talking to about you to family and friends, saying how about how you focus more on work than a relationship. You got Sagittarian energy in the reverse with the tower card. You have the six of swords, more air energy, somebody who's at a distance from you. And we have the ten of cups. Um, you have family or a romantic interest, um, water sign. Uh, could be a Pisces. That's what I'm hearing with that. Why is this person gossiping about option number one? Why are they gossiping about option number one? Yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they're upset or it feels like they're complaining option number one about the potential of the relationship failing or something about, you know, you're very busy, the work relationship failing or some type of something failing between the two of you all. King of Wands in the upright. There's the Aries again and the Ace of Swords. So this is definitely air sign and fire sign energy. Um, essentially, the person is gossiping about you. They're talking about you to uh, to someone that they're close to. It feels like a, a relative, like either a sister, cousin, what have you. And they're talking about the fact that, well, definitely the Aries is missing you. But they're talking about the fact of something of how you two maybe aren't in the best communicative cycle at this point. Uh, or maybe not communicated at all at this point. Uh, and definitely with this Ace of Swords and the King of Wands energy, they would like to see you. It's not like they want things to be done and over with, but they feel like there's a stubborn energy in you, option number one. So let's see, should you watch out for this energy? Universe, Spirit, God, and Ancestors, is this an energy for 
option number one to be aware of. We got the Page of Wands in the upright. We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. We got the Empress in reverse. No, this isn't any type of energy where I feel like there's malice that's coming through or of any kind. No one is trying to harm you. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. No one's trying to harm you in any way. Um, and it's not a, a, a gossip in a sense of where this person is hoping to, you know, hurt you or or you, any nothing of that nature nothing sinister this person is simply airing out their grievances with a trusted person about you that's what i have with that one so thank you all for tuning into this if you'd like to book a private reading coaching same day walk and reprint or any reading check that pin comment below as well as the description box below join me on instagram and tiktok at wandering spiral tarot or wandering spiral tarot.com and follow me on my other youtube channel Link is in the description box below as well as the pin comment below. And let's move on to option number two. All right. Option number two. Let's find out. What's the current gossip about you? Who's gossiping and why? Universe, prayer guides, and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip about option number two? What's the current gossip about option number two? Will of Fortune in the reverse and the Tower card in the reverse. For some of you, this could involve pregnancy, loss of pregnancy. Option number two. This could involve loss of job. Or eviction. Give me more information, universe, for guys and ancestors. Definitely, you're ignoring someone's call, or you recently had somebody blocked. Option number two, uh, people are maybe gossiping about this, or the person that you have blocked may be gossiping about this. You could have had a child with this person, or somebody that you spoke about having children with. You currently have them blocked. Universe, for guys and ancestors. What's the current gossip about option number two? What's the current gossip? Yeah, this is somebody you're at a distance from or you've distanced yourself from or you're trying to distance yourself from. Option number two. Give me more. What's the current gossip about option number two? Yeah, this is definitely a loss of a relationship, loss of a child. Um, and this person had to hear about it like through a third party. That's what I'm getting with that. Um, five of Cups in the upright. Yeah, definitely there's gossip about you being a bit maybe depressed at this point in time or off to yourself uh maybe a bit you know feeling a bit down on your luck at this point in time we have the temperance card in the upright this is about you being patient or people feel like you you you're being very patient considering the circumstances universe spirit guides and ancestors with the current gossip about option number two you might be trying to numb the pain at this point in time or numb the emotions and frustrations. It definitely feels like you've been hard to reach option number two. I feel like that's what people have been gossiping about. Like they can't really get a hold of you. And this feels like friends who can't really get a hold of you. What's the current gossip about option number two? Universe, what's the current gossip about option number two? King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's an energy of depletion here, not of monetary values. Oh my goodness, these cards are almost mirroring option number one's cards. Yeah, this is loss of a relationship or loss of a of, of a of a life um, that you might have been carrying. You could have had someone pregnant, option number two, or you could have been pregnant, and this is like loss of a pregnancy or loss of some type of opportunity that you were very close to, that you cradled, that felt like you know your baby. This could be a passion project sun card in the reverse yeah there's a lot of pessimistic and maybe unfortunate energy that's coming up around you option number two with the sun card in the reverse um you could have had some recent accident option number two and people are gossiping about some type of accident that may have occurred um you could have been accident prone or people feel this way give me more information universe for guys and ancestors for those which is option number two you could have some type of current legal battle. Option number two, people are gossiping about some type of current legal battle or argument um, or settlement that you are involved with. Give me more. What's the current gossip going on about option number two? 
you might be trying to move or you might have to decide to move option um with the two of swords universe spirit guides and ancestors what's the current gossip option knight of cups any upright you definitely have a support system that's trying to reach out to you option number two but it feels like you are just kind of look i was just saying being defensive so you have a support system that's trying to reach out to you, but it feels like you're being defensive. Give me more information. Universe, for God's hands. This is the current gossip option with sure you. Ace of Cups. Um, people feel like maybe you could be trying to, you know, go off and heal yourself at this point in time. You definitely have people that's trying to give love to you. What's the current gossip about option number two? Yeah. People are gossiping about you feeling a bit detached right now. But you have people that are trying to, to reach you, trying to get to you, trying to be there, there for you during this point in time. Um, definitely people feel like you're depressed. Ten of swords in reverse. People feel like there's some depression here. So let's see who's been gossiping about you and why. Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Who's this person gossiping? Who's this person gossiping about option number two? Who's the person gossiping about option number two for me? Two cards. Who's the person gossiping about option number two? We have Capricorn. This person can be a Capricorn. This also be somebody that perhaps you work with. We have Pisces energy. Capricorn Pisces can be one more universe. The person can be somebody who's very creative, very artistically inclined. We have Aries energy. This person could be younger than you, but it definitely feels like family that's gossiping about you. Um, and more so talking out of concern, universe, spirit guides, and ancestors, who's gossiping about option number two and why? Who's gossiping about option number two and why? Magician card in the reverse, that's Virgo and Gemini energy. Yeah, definitely people that are concerned about you. You have an air sign that's concerned about you or a close friend. Um, in general, we got Virgo energy. So earth sign energy, this could also be the Capricorn um yeah these are people that are concerned about you they can't reach you you have more earth sign energy this could be your mother figure with the empress card in the reverse your mother could be worried about you also for some of you this could be post hominis you can have a mother that's that's worried about you from you know the other realm from the 5d so this is the spirit realm maybe your mom's passed on or family member or guardian or grandmother has passed on that's worried about you um because there's a lot of stress maybe that you're experiencing right now who's currently gossiping about option number two and why. Nine of Cups in the upright. This could be somebody who people regard as very confident or very arrogant, rather, with this Nine of Cups for more water sign energy. So once again, this person could be creative. Also, this person may know how to sing. Who's concerned about you? Seven of Cups. This feels like an associate energy. Yeah, world card in reverse. This person particular maybe at a distance from you universe for God, and ancestors. you can have a get uh, a ex that's gossiping about you or someone that you were involved with once again that, that involves a baby there's gossip there there's concern and then here's the virgo with the hermit card yeah people are definitely concerned about your well-being so i'm not getting that the persons who are coming up this definitely feels like family and friends people that you're kind of pushing away from you they don't feel like they're gossiping about you in malice this definitely feels more so like in concern. So this is family and friends for sure. Yet I will still ask the question if you need to worry about anything when it comes to them talking about you. Is there anything that option number two needs to be concerned about with these persons talking about me? We have the five of swords in the upgrades. We yeah, have the justice card in the reverse. They definitely, you do have family and friends that are planning on a visit. Look, I couldn't even get it out all the way. Six of swords. You got people planning on a visit towards you. Uh, unbeknownst, this is to console you. Ace of wands. So there's nothing to be aware of, but they are planning on coming towards you. So be prepared for a visitation from family and friends that's popping up in this uh, particular uh, reading for you. 
um, because you're not answering the phone call, you're barely answering their call, so they're gonna just pop up on you. And for some of you, like, uh uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be home, I'm not gonna answer the phone. Well, guess what? They're gonna pop up on you at work, and it's like, well, yeah, you can't avoid me now. Ha ha, you see me. So that's what I got for you. Option number two, let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this channel. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, same day, read, walk, and read, pray, worthy reading, I want you all to check that pin comment below as well. The description box below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Wondering Sparrow Tarot and follow my other youtube channel see the channel section but follow me on my other youtube channel uh see the pink comment below as well as the description box below and let's move into our very last option option number three so option number three let us find out what is the current gossip going on about you option number three what's the energy surrounding you um, you're the only pile that i've gotten the inkling to do this for universe for the guys and ancestors what's the energy surrounding option number three four of cups you're currently ignoring someone or someone's ignoring you this person could be someone who's being very emotional very pestering moon card a lot of private mysterious energy you could be someone who's up a lot at night kind of you know stressed out a lot or you, you you think a lot at night we have the hair font that came out in the reverse this could be involving a Taurus, but definitely a relationship that's gone disarray um we can have we can have we have the eight of wands in the upright this is somebody at a distance from you or somebody that you've distanced yourself could be a fire sign this may be somebody that you felt like was temptation option number three with the eight of wands three of cups someone definitely that you used to be acquainted with very closely i feel like you may miss this person you guys fair guys and ancestors scorpio energy death card energy yeah this is definitely a connection i feel like there's a connection of the person that's gossiping or who's involved where you and them are not talking this is a done deal and it's been some time and it's definitely some missing energy but it feels like you may miss this person and then we have the page of wands so i feel like a lot of stuff has been going on in the fantasy realm yeah a lot of daydreaming about the what if surrounding a connection option number three so let's find out universe for guys and ancestors what's the current gossip surrounding option number three what's the current gossip around option number three hermit card in reverse um, people are definitely gossiping or this person in particular is gossiping about essentially you being upset with them or being upset in general uh three of wands in the upright you're being upset and acting passive aggressive with that three of wands option number one that's what i'm getting with that you're upset passive aggressive um king of cups in the reverse um, this person is definitely talking about you being all in your emotions and you might be currently being ruled by your emotions or or led by your emotions queen of cups in the reverse yeah led by your emotions and your emotions may be causing you to act out in strange ways universe i mean not universe option number three universe spirit guys and ancestors with current gossip so yeah there's definitely one person who's gossiping about you in particular option number three this is somebody who's feeling maybe a bit annoyed by you a bit worried um this is somebody who who's maybe feeling like you know they're wanting to distance themselves from you what's the current gossip it feels like there's been unwanted communication between you and this person king of swords in the reverse yeah definitely somebody who don't have nice words for you is gossiping ten of cups in the upright yeah this is a, a close connection um could have been family there's definitely some close connection some relation here um but there's some sour words that's coming your way from this person that's gossiping about you now option number three it's very likely you're seeing energies about this person you're seeing signs about this person they're popping up they're popping up they're popping up and it's confusing you now option number three you could be causing this person's energy to pop up because you're thinking about them a lot um however though yeah it's definitely giving like this person wants you to stay away and I'm hearing the words kind of like pathetic. You could think this person's pathetic or definitely this is somebody who feels like the connection has run its course. Universe Spirit Guides and Ancestors, what's the current gossip about? Option number three, strength card in the upright, Leo energy, 
five of earth. They may feel like you are a bit arrogant, um, a bit possessive and hostile at times, seven of wands, combative. Yeah, this person is definitely talking to you, talking about you to their friends. They feel like you're very combative or, you know, this is why, you know, they want to release themselves or stay away uh, from the connection we have. The hangman in the reverse. Um, this may be somebody who blindly followed you or the connection, or maybe you blindly followed them, go with the flow, but they're they're breaking away. I'm hearing the words chained to the rhythm, uh, but unchained to the rhythm, but the words chained to the rhythm like that um, Katy Perry song. Um, but this person is now unchaining themselves from the rhythm. Um, and we have the four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is the loss of a committed relationship or some type of or some type of uh, close friendship or connection. This person definitely feels like, you know, the two of you have run its course. This, there's some bad blood between y'all for real. Tower card. This person has nothing nice to say. I would say this is definitely one of those things where you want to continue to keep your distance because I feel like this person has very abrasive energy towards you. So let's find out who this person is. Um, who's feeling this way? Option number two. So let's see. Or option number three, universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What is this person, guys, have been about option number three? Give me two cards. You have cancer. This person can be a cancer and, or one of the other water signs or family in general. We have Leo. This person could be um, a Leo, have prominent fire signs or somebody that you worked with. And this is Leo coming out twice. Give me one more. Who's gossiping? We have Virgo. Once again, with this Virgo, this energy is very, like, this person is very passive aggressive, very silent. Isn't quite speaking their mind, but their body language is telling you all you need to know. Give me more information. Who's gossiping about option number three and why? Who's gossiping about option number three and why? Empress card in reverse. Yeah, Virgo energy is super heavy. Somebody you could have, you definitely used to have some type of relationship with. It feels like I have a friendship. For some of you, this is a relationship. We have the Five of Wands. Yeah, definitely somebody who's fighting you off. Um, more Aries energy. This person is not only fighting you off, but they their energy feels a bit immature. Uh, Prince of Wands. Yeah, this person doesn't have good words for you. It's like, you could be seeing signs of them because they're talking about you, but this is talking about you in frustration. Um, so remember too, and I've done a video on this option number three about essentially we could pick up on the energy of people thinking about us or talking about us, thinking about us directly, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're thinking good things about us. Definitely, this is that. I don't get that this person is thinking like, yeah, let me call them up. This person definitely wants the two of you all to stay away from each other, but this person's frustrated about it. Chariot, yeah. Cancer energy, again, this person could be a cancer or, or just simply family. They're keeping their distance. Yeah, four cups in reverse. This is the person who's keeping their distance. Um, it's like the lines of communication aren't fully closed, but they don't want you to contact them. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person is someone who's moving forward, moving on. So let's find out. Should you be aware of this energy? Universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. Does option number three have anything to worry about when it comes to this energy? Should they be aware of this energy? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Lover's card in the upright, wild card in the reverse, and Prince of Cups in the reverse. That's a no. This person definitely wants you to stay away. And I'm not trying to say this harshly, but they're looking for you to stay away, and they want to stay away from you. But they are talking about you. Look, Knight of Pentacles. They are talking about you a lot. This could be someone who's very talkative. They need to get this in, this information out. Um, this person, you know, maybe talking to a trusted friend, advisor, counselor, therapist, what have you. But they're talking about you in order to get this energy out because whatever happened between y'all is definitely have bothered this person um, psychologically. <laughs> and so this is the energy you're picking up on. But no, they're not looking to reconcile at this point in time or anything. And they're not of any danger, hurt, or harm towards you. Option number three. 
So option number three, that's what I have for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel compelled to. Book a private reading, coach, send it, read, walk and read, priority reading in the description box below and the pin comment below. Join me on my other YouTube channel, um, pin comment below as well as the description box below. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Wine Means Barrel Tarot. Yes, definitely book those private readings. I am coming up with a, um, I'm going to do Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales for the month of November if you're watching this in November, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, make sure you book those readings. And I thank you all. Uh, I'm getting so mixed up, you all. Thank you all who keep me booked and busy. You all have a beautiful day when you see this. Peace and blessings. Goodbye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. All right, this is the second reading if you're watching this behind the gossip reading or if you're watching this as a solo reading. This reading is, what will life be like for you as an influencer? We're going to answer the question, should you become an influencer? How will that go for you? Um, would your platform blow up? To what level of influence will you have? Will you be famous, Kim Kardashian level? Or will you be at the micro level? Um, so let's find out. You have three options to choose from. We're going to dive right in. This is going to be option number one, option number two, option number three. Again, option one, option two, option three. Pause the video, see which of the options you feel resonate with you the most, and then come back when you're ready for your answer. Thank you to all of you all who keep me booked and busy. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, same day, read, walk, and read, priority reading, check that pin comment below, as well as the description box below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Join me on Facebook and Instagram um, and TikTok. TikTok and Instagram, primarily at, at Winery Sparrow Tarot. All right, so let's get into it. Option number one. What would life be like for you as an influencer? Should you become an influencer? How would that go for you? So let's see. You have the seven of materials that came out in the reverse. That's the seven of pentacles and the page of voices. I definitely feel like you are someone who may not be very active on social media. Option number one. Um, and I definitely feel like you might have came to this reading more so for curiosity. You might be interested in being somewhat of an influencer, maybe more so like socialite, maybe more so old school socialite energy, it girl energy or it boy energy. That's what it's giving. Um, but I don't see you being the one who really likes to post like that. It's like you may want that type of attention or, you know, it's like you can take it or leave it. You, may, you feel like, oh, well, that would be kind of cool. But you're not the posty posty. I always need to document what I'm doing. I always need to be seen. So you're not very much invested in it right now. I see with the seven of pentacles in reverse. What would life be like for option number one as an influencer? We have the nine of voices. Definitely very stress-free, easy breezy. Um, it feels like you would be putting a lot of monetary resource into your influencer life because once again um it feels like you'd be outsourcing a lot of things like maybe outsourcing posting and things like that somebody would be posting for you the magician card in the reverse it feels like it'd be something that's short lived four voices in the reverse it's something that would happen it could be by the means of something going viral unbeknownst but it doesn't feel like you're tailoring your life towards a influencer path option number one it definitely gives the energy of take it or leave it. I don't have to be an influencer. Universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What would life be like for option number one as an influencer? Yeah, the tower card. <laughs> yeah, very fast moving. Um, very all of a sudden emperor card in the upright. Very controlled. Um, I feel like the emperor card energy option number one is given reasons as to why you wouldn't want to be an influencer necessarily. So I'm actually not getting that you actually really care too much about the influencer life um for some of you you might have just wanted to you might have just wanted to know will i go viral someday for something and i'm getting a yes but i'm not getting a long-term popularity five of emotions in the reverse five of cups in the reverse i feel like something would occur very early on it, it feels like you feel very deep option number one and this feels like something where it's like, mm, this feels too superficial for me. It feels too controlled. Because um, option number one, I feel like even though there's a sense of, you know, freedom, sense of, you know, oh, I can do whatever I want, whenever I want to, 
there's a lot that goes into the lifestyle that you feel like no this feels a lot more restrictive you know i'm being called to to do this and do that care when i don't want to care um option number one you're not someone who's tailored towards towards needing validation from other people give me more what would like you like for option number one is an influencer queen of voices in the reverse you wouldn't be the greatest influencer because and a lot of it has to do with the fact that you are not keen on posting and things of that nature death card it would be something that would come to an end i feel like it would be something that will serve as oh this was a really nice experience i got a chance to see that but i don't see you sticking it out yeah love is current reverse i don't see you sticking with an influencer lifestyle it feels like you you feel like you're above it it's like you know nah that's not for me um you could be somebody who's more inclined towards you know business definitely getting something in regards to education um financial you're more analytical thinking i definitely don't get that you care in those regards so let's see should you become an influencer universe for your guys and ancestors those who chose option number one should they become an influencer should you pursue it because just because and i'm asking this too just because you don't want to don't mean you shouldn't pursue it three of cups in the upright knight of materials or knight of pentacles in the reverse i'm definitely seeing people around you be very popular very well known you might have a friend who's a influencer of some sort of level let's see should option number three become an influencer ace of inspiration that's the ace of wands in reverse this is a no justice card in the upright seven of voices this is a no it's all combative energy and you essentially seven of voices seven of swords be living a lie it's not something that you're looking to pursue it's not something i'm seeing you be very happy and like oh my gosh this is something i really wanted to do to a voices in a reverse this is a no no i'm not saying you really want the influencer lifestyle it's something where it's like oh that would be cool if it happened for a moment but you're not looking to necessarily be famous well known in those regards like if you're well known for something option number two i'm getting more so the energy of you want to be well known for you know contributions to whatever you know sector in life you've chosen to to lend your expertise not necessarily for just you know whatever you know thing you may consider to be frivolous and existing for it not just for posting and things like that and you feel like there's some type of restrictiveness with this lifestyle though it appears to be you know open easy breezy and free though it's not that's what i'm getting with that so let's see because even though this may not be for you and i don't see you should pursue it um how big of an influencer would you have been had you become an influencer universe spirit guides and ancestors how big of an influencer how much influence would this person have option number one have if they became an influence how big of an influencer yeah the ten of emotions in the reverse definitely more short-lived energy four of inspiration in the reverse ten of inspiration in reverse yeah it's not given like, you know, oh my gosh, catastrophic, you know, sized influence. It's definitely given um, what I'm hearing in my mind, the Island Boys, for anybody that may remember them, like literally very flash in the pan, one hit wonder type of energy. You could not pick them out in a lineup or maybe you can because they have a very distinctive look, but you know, it, nobody's checking for them. Nobody's running down in the mall to take their picture. Like, oh my God, I saw the Island Boys. Um, Ace of Voices in Reverse. Yeah, it's something where it would be of local socialite status. Like, I feel like you'd be at best well known within your particular geographic area, but it's not given like Kim K, Muse of Inspiration. Like, definitely, um, you'd be somebody more so socialite, more so local, but it's not given, you know, known across the world, known across the, the country. Is more so given you're known in your region. Moon card in reverse. Yeah, you're known in your region. Um, you're at the who's who's, what what's party. You're likely to be seen with someone of high influence. You're best, you know, you're that person behind the scenes where it's like, you know, you're the name that people hear about. Because you could be someone more on the business end, but you're not the actual like face of the thing you're more likely to be the one who's dealing with more of the money and you have more of the money because you're more so in the background not caring about that foreground um i'm not seeing you like chase popularity option number two uh, i want to say option number two 
option number one i'm not seeing you chase the popularity like that once again it's like you could be known but once again it's not giving you can't walk in the mall you can't walk you know down the street without protection you can't you know go to one of the insert popular city you can't be in dubai without security you can't be in la without security london france what have you new york you can definitely go to these places as a civilian nobody would really notice unless they know it's given that energy option number one of if you know you know and that's the energy that you're that i'm getting off of you but i feel like you like it like that you like being private you don't want people mauling you down per se and yeah in the mall you don't want people you know worshiping you and things of that nature um so yeah muse of material or king of materials in the upright this is definitely giving money you you yeah th these are the money cards you'd have more of the money you have a lot more of the resources you have a lot more of quality of life the life itself as opposed to pretending to have the life itself and not to say that you know influencers all of them are pretending but we do know that a lot of them could be pretending about having this life that they don't really live even some have been called photoshop and things you actually are going to be living a life that is what you are set on cultivating option number uh one i keep wanting to say option number two might be a message for you in option number two option number one but that's what i got for you if you like to get private reading coaching same day rewalk and repriority reading Check that pin comment below as well as the description box below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Wondering Sparrow Tarot. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into it with our second option, option number two. All right, option number two. Now, I actually got the energy that you want to be an influencer and you're looking to pursue that path. And I feel like you're taking notes um, on this reading. So you've come to the right place. Let's find out. What would life be like for you if you were an influencer? Uh, should you become an influencer? And then what? how big of an influencer would you be? How big of an influence would you have? Um, so what would life be like for option number two if they were an influencer? We have the judgment card in the reverse. We have the king of swords in the reverse. I'm definitely seeing a lot of speaking engagements. Um, there seems to be a lot of busyness. You've tried this path before moon card in the upright i feel like you'd be figuring it out as you go along option number uh two in regards to influencing uh, we have the four of cups yeah this is something that you're revisiting for sure and option number two is likely that you've had some type of influence already could have been at a local level in regards to your influence um definitely feels like this is something that you've been wanting before yeah ten of pentacles you may be used to being popular you may have been popular like you know majority of your life it's like oh yeah people always gravitate towards me and really take towards me very easily i've never had a problem with making friends connections and things of that nature yeah you're very likable you're very lovable um something about you can either be an athlete or you have an athletic build um or very you know petite some type of fitness build maybe fitness um influencing is something that you were looking into getting into knight of wands yeah something active you could be known for fitness and or or activeness now i do feel like there's this energy option number two where you feel like okay if it doesn't happen happen i'm not going to be upset but i do feel like you really want this energy uh, page of cups in reverse you've definitely tried your hand at this before you flirted with it five of cups in reverse definitely i feel like there's times where you felt a bit down about it a bit pessimistic about okay it's never gonna happen i need to give it up i need to you know grow up i need to whatever it is but you definitely still hold the hope and you definitely still get traction some way, somehow, in regards to, like, if you exist on Instagram, be real, what have you. There's a lot of engagement that you get a lot of. Um, I'm not really getting that TikTok is the thing that you have dove into, but you get a lot of engagement on the platforms that you've gotten. But once again, it feels very local status. So definitely you got people that are watching you option number two and you do have a level of influence with people that know you now it's like they see you and they go whoa wow look at them really got their life together people definitely admire you queen of cups but you are craving an influence of a big nature like a kim k um like a black china like a known 
you know, like an Amber Rose, like these are, you know, like popular, well-known socialite, you know, the socialite, socialite, that type of energy. Something where people are interested enough to be to write about you on blogs. Give me more. What would life be like as an influencer for option number two? We have the nine of wands in the reverse. It definitely would be an easy life, but it wouldn't be what it seemed. It'd be kind of slow moving on the outside. So option number two, you're definitely the person who's into the posting. You do not mind putting together the post, doing the work. Look, nine of coins and it's on a tablet you don't mind doing the work but you don't want to waste your time either so you're the type of person where i'll post if i know that it's making sense i'll post if i know i'm gonna make money because you definitely want to pursue it as a way as a lifestyle and a career i'll do it if it's going to make me money um i'm also getting that you want to um, do social media i mean not social media you would like to do reality tv and stuff like that um so you're also wondering like you know should i do this in regards to being able to, to to get on reality television give me more information should what would life be like for option number two as an influencer seven of swords yeah definitely you're willing seven of swords <laughs> living a lie you're somebody who's willing to fudge up the lifestyle to make it appear you know in order to gain the success that you're looking for, you're willing to do all the motions, all the steps, go through everything, even if it means that you're faking it till you make it with that seven of swords, because you really want to make a career out of this five of wands. But it's you found conflict in that path. It's been hard. Like you once again, you've been able to reach you've currently been able to reach a certain level of popularity on a local level. People may know you in your city, town, what have you, but you want people to know you globally. You want to be able to get big brand deals. You want to be sponsored um, by big brands. You know, you want to represent luxury brands and things of that nature. You may already be taking pictures and tagging these different brands. Um, you want to be known as that girl or that guy. Let's see. Universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. Um, if option, well, no, let's first ask, should you pursue becoming an influencer? Again, universe, spirit guides, and ancestors, for those who choose option number two, should they pursue becoming an influencer? Again, to a sword, you're definitely considering it. Um, you could currently work in marketing or finance or something like that, option number two, um, but you're definitely considering it. Seven of Wands in the upright, the Emperor card in the upright. This is something where it's like, you are willing to strike out and try it again if it doesn't get in the way. It's got to have boundaries and limits if it doesn't get in the way of work. Um, but definitely, you're trying it on a light level or you will try it again on a light level. Lover's card. Spirit says you should give it a go. You should definitely give it a go. Um, don't. You want to be not leery, but don't speak about it too much. Maybe not tell everybody what your plans are. You may be some somebody who's very socially inclined. You don't have to tweet about it. You don't have to necessarily, you could tell friends, but the closest friends only. You don't have to tell associates. And just just try it again. Cultivate again. Spirit is definitely saying give it another try. I am feeling a level of more success than you had the first time. But this may um, cause for you to have to reach out personally to brands yourself. You may have to start promoting a brand yourself. Like, you know, like just wearing Shein or Sheen, however you pronounce it. Wearing a lot of Shein or Shein, tagging them, tagging them, tagging them, and letting people see and letting that brand see. See, look, this person's gaining gain a lot of energy, gain a lot of engagement. Let's go ahead and partner with this person. So it may cause for you having to be the first to reach out to these different brands and different companies and being shown in their clothing, in their brand, in their gear, with their merch, and you're constantly tagging them. And then eventually they're going to give you a phone call like, hey, so we see that, you know, you got xyz followers xyz engagement let's do this so that's what i'm getting for you so this is yes you should definitely give it a go now let's ask the question how what type of um level influencer would you be would you be micro macro local <laughs> local um or global universe spirit guides and ancestors what level of influence and influencer with option number two B. We have the death card in the upright up level of we have the six of coins in the reverse. 
to a level of influence and influencer. We have the temperance card in the reverse. You definitely would have a popularity status that reaches the totality of your country. Now, definitely, I feel like people outside of your demographic, um, whether you're Gen Z, millennial, boomer, silent, the alpha generation, that's the one beneath Gen Z, you know, um, well, you can't be the one beneath Gen Z because then that means y'all can't even be on this platform without parental guy. But you know what I'm trying to say. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you will be very popular within your demographic. Like, definitely, you know, how, like, how the housewives, real housewives um, on the Bravo television series, women within their demographic know who they are. Um, or people within that demographic know who they are. You know how, like, with different Gen Z stars, um, and, and YouTube stars of whatever demographic people know who they are in that. So you'd be very popular in those means. Three of cups. In the reverse, you definitely have a reach, but it would be limited to within your demographic, your target demographic. Now, you don't have to be the age of that demographic, option number two. Let's say you were a Gen Z in whatever, for whatever reason. You, no, no, not for whatever reason. You could be someone who's into very vintage. You know, vintage is your niche and something like that. So your demographic will be, of course, other people who resonate you know in your age range with wanting to chase after vintage but if you're like you know oh my god but the golden days of hollywood is really my stick you know um you know like it's really where i'm at then chances are it'll be people within your demographic age demographic who want to be around golden hollywood themes and people who actually live through that so a bit of boomer a bit of silent generation which is, you know, for a lot of us, our grandparents and great-grandparents. So that's what I got for you, option number two. So definitely pursue it, have fun. And if you felt inspired by this, influenced by this, and you kept it going, definitely hit me up in the DMs at Winery Sparrow Tarot on Instagram um, or in my email um, or on my website. You can also send uh, communications there, WineriesboroTarot.com. Follow me on TikTok at Winery Sparrow Tarot as well. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, same day read, walk and read, priority reading, uh, see that pin comment below as well as the description box below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And follow me on my other YouTube channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe over there. Pin comment below as well as the description box below. And let's get into our last option. Last but not least, this is a very fun reading. Uh, so, Universe, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. For those who chose option number three, what would life be like for them as an influencer? Option number three, what would life be like for them as an influencer? Two of Wands in the reverse. You could be somebody who's very close to this lifestyle already. What would life be like for them as an influencer? You'd be very beloved. Queen of Cups. You definitely would have a lot of influence. People will see you as like, you know, what is this person wearing? What is this person doing? Definitely it's giving Kim Kardashian status, you know, like how she has that level of influence to where, you know, you have women getting surgeries that look like her. Um, we have the death card in the upright. Definitely transformative. It'd be a, 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 a career where you transform yourself. Look, people in admiration towards you. Look at the children. Um, it definitely feels like you'd have this cult-like following option number two. Uh, Tempers card in reverse. Yeah, this is the energy that's coming towards you very soon. So chances are you could be on the road to being very popular or you could also, or you could have a platform right now. You could be an influencer watching me or for some of you, a, another YouTuber watching me like, oh, wow. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Um, you know, I have the numbers now. Now here's the influence. It'll be definitely a life that's worrisome for you. It feels very busy, but you'd have a good control. It definitely would be very... Um, lucrative for you when it comes to monetary um definitely this this sounds like something you want to pursue look tower card in reverse is something that's happening in the now for you i don't know if this is like you going viral soon but somebody's seeing you somebody's picking you up this is like the right energy is picking you up three of wands it's, it's definitely coming you're somebody who definitely posts consistently engage consistently um and it feels like something you're doing is definitely you know, grounds for going viral soon. Give me more information, universe, for guys. And ancestors for option number. Yeah, Ace of Wands, this is happening for you soon. So should you become an influencer? Absolutely, yes. You live a life of travel. Um, definitely, you get a lot of free things. Uh, you'd be able to fund a, a very nice, cushiony 
lucrative lifestyle, there's the chances of great wealth here. Definitely very comfortable wealth, but very great wealth here. Um, and it definitely feels like it's surrounding um, beauty or your looks, attractiveness, um, sex appeal, sexiness with the wands energy. So it doesn't feel like you're influencing based on like, you know, having to come up with this like in-depth service. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the upright. Definitely your platform will be one. It's given energy of like Cardi B where you're engaging with your audience a lot, you know, up close and personal. You're doing a lot of lives, a lot of looks. So it's almost like you're giving people that, that um, appearance of being able to touch you without touching you. Definitely, this is more so given like celebrity status type of influencing. Like how, once again, the Card Jenners have leveraged their influencer from just, you know, regular influencer persons that you might see on the street, but uh, it is what it is, to celebrity status. It's definitely given, yeah, it's given Kylie Jenner. It's, it's given the, the celebrity influencer girls. Universe for as an ancestors. Blah, 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 for option number three as an influencer. Six of Cups, yeah, very beloved. You'd be pulling friends in too. Four Cups in the reverse, yeah, very popular. Nine of Wands in the upright seven of cups in the reverse definitely this is giving something where it's like it would be a, a life where you're constantly chasing the high so to speak meaning you know having to come up with how do i stay relevant how do i continue to influence how do i continue to have this influence um but you're seeming very beloved very known and this is something that you'd be able to leverage to television like king of pentacles brings a lot of money it's something that you're going to be able to leverage to television so option option number three you can already be an influencer you were you are going to be able to leverage your career um financially and your your popularity to actual stardom to actual television um whether it is for some of you you might for some of you you might be a youtuber already you might even be a reader um and this is you leveraging it to television leveraging it to reality but definitely you'll be known you'll be known um by people who keep up with like blogs you know tea blogs things of that nature um you know that type of whole gossipness that type of stuff because it's given more so famous socialite i'm not seeing you necessarily um, have this one thing that you're known for, like, you know, it's, it's not necessarily given, you know, Oprah, or <laughs> it's not necessarily given, you know, this is my brand or Gary V, you know, like, or market, multi-level marketing. It's, it's not, it's definitely given Cardi B before she became famous, um, how she was this big social media presence, you know, she posted looks and rants. That's what this is given. Definitely brand deals are chasing you. So this is, this is given, you know, uh, a pretty pretty comfortable lifestyle so let's see should you become an influencer even though all this is telling me a yes but option number three should you become an influencer let's find out universe for guys and ancestors of those who chose option number three should option number three become an influence oh gosh should i even pull more cards six of pentacles out the back ace of swords in the reverse ace of pentacles this is an absolute yes ace of swords you could have some people in your camp, um, in your crew that may be a bit jealous hearted. This isn't for everybody to know, just make your moves, move in silence, but move soon. Yeah, pursue this. Look at this, four swords in reverse, chariot cart in reverse, pursue this. It's definitely gonna be a journey worthwhile, but I see this happening. Look, Ace of Cups in the upright. I see popularity happening for you very soon, very easily, very effortlessly. Um, yeah, option number one, um, option number three, rather, take this leap, do it. Um, and we already answered the question of what level of influence. Let's see, would you enjoy it? Because this is given big level. Would you enjoy being an influencer? So just because you're making money don't mean you're going to enjoy it. Um, Ten of Wands, people are working jobs they hate every day. Um, Ten of Wands in the upright, Nine of Pentacles. It'd be kind of a bit of a lonely road. You might lose some friendships. Um, ooh, I said it and it came out as I was um, shuffling. You might lose some friendships, relationships, page of wands. Definitely there's jealousies that will come out. But 
you know, the same way you're losing people, you're going to gain people that belong in your life. Um, but I would say just be aware of the company that you keep, that people are around you for sincere reasons because they care in real life and not because they're looking for clout. But that's what I'm getting with that. Uh, so yeah, so option number three, absolutely. Uh, you should pursue this path because you do very well. And once again, um, if you found this reading to be of any influence, book a private reading with me, coaching, same degree, walk, read, priority reading. Check that pink out below as well as the description box below. Uh, thank you to all of you all who keep me booked and busy. Let me know on the DMs or on my website, Winery Sparrow Tarot, how this influenced you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Winery Sparrow Tarot. And yeah, that's all I got for you all. Um, Instagram, TikTok, Winery Sparrow Tarot. But yeah. Thank you all so much for tuning in. See you all on the next one. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.